zoo here we are in the center. Look at this thing. Absolutely magnificent. How they built it, who knows. Some of these stones over here behind us, 120 tons. Yet they have no cement, multiple angles, and they perfectly fit, and they've lasted the eons. Talk about architecture. That's something that's definitely coming from heart. Definitely coming from that space. Unbelievable. Honored to be here. So here we are at the, uh, the sexy woman temple, as they say. It's one of the amazing temples here. If you look at the background, look at all these walls, how they're all built. All these walls are built without brick, and, uh, without cement, anything holding together. There's natural architecture. These, these stones are 20, 30 tons. I have no idea how they built them to this day. Yet it asks the question, how did they build it so precisely? There's no chisel marks. There's no tooling. There's, they're just, they're there. Right? So that makes you wonder, how did they build it? The ancient wisdom. And here, look below. We're celebrating the Festival of the Souls. So imagine this arena four or five, six centuries ago of all the amazing people doing the same thing you see right there, celebrating the Festival of the Sun, the light, the giver of light. And each one of us is beautiful light. We're here for a brief period of time. And like those stones, if we fit work together, we last for a lifetime. We last for the eons. Stones, uh, and they are different shape, but they put perfectly together. It look like a, looks like a puzzle. Say puzzle. puzzle, yeah, and also it's good to know it was uh, taller, you know. Uh, since the Spanish came, it became a quarry. They used the stones oh, wow. to take down to build the cathedrals, churches, houses, whatever. Wow. Of course, they took the small stones, <laughs> the big ones they left there, they couldn't take it. But you know, that's what happened. See, when the Spanish came first time, they they, they described the place as a really an amazing place. Yeah, and, decimated by yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, we say always Machu Picchu is amazing, and this is unbelievable. Yeah. Considering the size of the stones, right. and there are stones that are maybe five times my size. Huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you're down there, you'll see. Yeah, down there, there are the, <laughs> the big stones. Yeah. There. But really, what was Aksaiwaman? Aksaiwaman, the Spanish, when they came, they called fortress. See, for them, it was a fortress. But this is really completely Spanish uh, idea, because in Europe, they have fortresses, not here. Uh, nowadays, the scholars consider it was a monument, like a temple dedicated to the sun and they used to come here to, to make big ceremonies and worship to the sun and also you can see the uh, zigzag shape eh? zigzag shape and that is realizes also in the shape of the lining you know, the lining was another deity that i am blown away sexy woman it's unbelievable how they built these stones right here behind me and have the, the ability to have the shadow that represents the lightning and these, these stones that they put together with such precision without so much as a piece of paper can get through these things. Yet there's not one thing that binds them together except for how they perfectly fit. Makes you wonder, where'd that intelligence come from, right? It's a beautiful way for us to prepare as we start tomorrow to take our journey with grandfather. Check it out.